a mysterious disappearance has become big news all around the world. The whereabouts of Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi, a critic of Riyadh's current leadership, remains unknown a week after he walked into his country's consulate in Istanbul. Turkish authorities fear he's been murdered, but it's comments from their strong ally, the United States, that might worry the Saudis the most. I, I am concerned about it. I don't like hearing about it. And hopefully that will sort itself out. Right now, nobody knows anything about it, but there's some pretty bad stories going around. I do not like it. It's the latest strain on the alliance between the House of Saud and the White House. This strong relationship has been a constant in the Middle East and the Islamic world for more than 80 years. Critics say Washington has turned a blind eye to Riyadh's repression at home and financing of terror groups and repressive governments in return for the flow of cheap oil. That relationship appears to have strengthened during the Trump administration as it imposes sanctions against Saudi rival Iran. But disputes over the price of oil have led to blunt remarks from the US president. And I love the king, King Solomon, but I said, King, we're protecting you. You might not be there for two weeks without us. You have to pay for your military. He made the remarks as his administration pressures Saudi Arabia to increase oil production and decrease prices ahead of November's congressional elections in the US. The Saudis have since increased their output. But with the US now weighing in over Khashoggi, is it a sign that Washington's view on the Saudi leadership is changing? Or is it merely lip service that won't have any impact on their relationship? Shweb Hassan, The Newsmakers.